Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly general reading for June 2021 and i like to wish you all a happy birthday and happy um, cancer season. I hope this month is going to be uh, a blessing, a month of blessing and whatever you're looking for. I hope this is the month or this is the year that you're able to achieve the things you want to achieve. So it's a brand new year for you as well. Okay, so it's, a, it's also a happy new year and a happy birthday. And before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who have liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much. For those of you who have been booking private readings with me throughout, uh, thank you for choosing to be part of my story. Part of your story and part of your journey in my story. Yeah, of course. So, um, yes, I've already pre-shuffled the deck. Um, and we're going to see what the universe has for you, okay? I'm too excited for you, Cancer. Yes, 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 yes. So, Tarot and Universe, please tell us what is coming for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of June. I've already pre-shuffled, Cancer. Believe it. Main energy. Action to take. Reflection. Moving forward. And foundation. Okay. So, the, the, the bottom of the deck is judgment. Right. Right, 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 right. So, your main energy for June, Queen of Pentacles, and the foundation is the Tower card. Yes, last month I think this card came as well for Cancer. Your Reflection card is the Knight of Swords. Action to take, the High Priestess, you got your own card. Moving forward is the page of wands. Okay. So Cancer will will find out which one should we do, Cancer? Tell me, tell me, send me your energy. Send me your energy, send me your energy, send me your energy. Which one should we clarify? Okay. Please clarify the Knight of Swords. Okay, they've jumped out. So, your reflection card is the Knight of Swords. And clarifying that is the um, Seven of Wands and the Three of Cups. Okay, this tells me that there are some emotional struggles that you've had in the past. Okay, there are some challenges that you've had in the past. It could be a three party situation, it could be a legal battle, it could be family issues, it could be issues with um, the law, okay, government, and things like that. Um, I feel here this is a reflection, okay, so we'll find out why you are reflecting because, as we see here, your, your, your foundation is. A tower so i feel whatever struggle that you have you have been going through is coming to an end okay it's coming to an end for your favor you know for your own good okay that is how i'm seeing it here because you've got the judgment card here so there's something to do I feel there's something here to do with family. Okay? Because the action you need to take is your own card, which is also family. Yes? Or your home. It could be your mother. It could be your psychic abilities. That is also coming into focus here. For some of you, it is your psychic abilities, enlightenment. Okay, because this is the action to take. And now we've got an angel here. So for some of you, I feel here that, you know, um, your psychic abilities is going to be strength, strengthened. And for some of you, you need to get rid of certain things 
that has been bothering you emotionally, certain things need to be burnt out of your life. Okay. And I feel for some of you is to do with your relatives because whatever their relationship is, it's not uh, a fair relationship. It's not um, just, it's not justified. And the universe, you know, and even you yourself, you want things to change. Okay. So I feel, I think for quite some time now, this is where your energy has been the most, you know, the, the tower card. And for some of you, it could also be that you are um, struggling, you know, it could be that you are struggling um, to accept changes in your life. It could be that you are struggling. Your confidence is a bit um, knocked. But I feel here that having this High Priestess card here, which is your own card, I feel you are getting messages. Yeah, getting messages from heaven. Your psychic abilities is going to be heightened. Okay. That is how I'm seeing you're going to get a lot of spiritual knowledge to live your life in June. And I feel this birthday coming for you is going to be a spectacular one. Something amazing, something beautiful is going to happen for you, especially with the Tower card. I feel something shocking is going to happen for you, okay? It's shocking but beautiful. That is how I'm seeing it. It's going to be shocking but beautiful. Some people are going to be very surprised as to how your life has become like this, okay? And so I feel like, yes, this is an amazing month for you because in the past, things have not been fair. And so um, because of that, you are taking actions that you need to take. And here we are, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Having this Queen of Pentacles here for me, I feel like in june because it's your birthday for some of you you are going to be more interested in your physical looks you are going to be interested in the way you are dressing you are going to change things about you that's going to be practical and we can also come back to the tower card okay you are going to change certain things about you physically some of you i feel you'll be inheriting money for this for some of you you could be the benefactor of, um, you know, someone is definitely giving you a gift of some sort. Something that you can take, something you can touch, something you can sniff and smell. Yes. But I feel overall, this is a card that says that you'll be feeling really, really beautiful. I feel this is more to do your physical look. And for some of you, it could be money. It could be blessings of whatever, gifts, all sorts. But I feel mainly... It is going to be your physical looks. You're going to dress differently. You're going to change. You're going to change things about you. You are going to change things about you. Okay. Physically, which is going to be very positive because let's not forget, you know, connecting here is the judgment card. So you will be judging a lot of things and also having your own card here. I feel you'll be getting a lot of spiritual knowledge. Okay. Spiritual knowledge and anything that has been secretive about anything to do with your family will be, will be revealed to you through a dream. OK, so I feel this month is going to be very packed with information that will help you moving forward with your life because, you know, this is a new year for you. OK, so whatever you've been hoping to achieve with this card being your moving forward card, the page here, there definitely is some good news waiting for you. Sometime this month, you are going to receive some good news. A news that makes you smile because it's positive. It is definitely a positive news and there is nothing that you need to worry about. Okay. It could be anything to do with documents, anything, anything that is, is good information. It could still be linked to the high priestess card. And I feel like, yes, whatever it is, I feel your life, it could, it could be like you are traveling, it could be travel document, it could be anything. Okay. It could be anything that is helping you to move forward with your life. Okay. Because these things, these challenges are over and you're moving on in a more positive way. So, Cancer, I think this is going to be a lovely birthday for you. And yes, just be confident in yourself and the rest will follow, okay? I hope this has been insightful for you. I will leave uh, the reading here. I will see you next month or you will see me next month.